What's the punishment? Allah says, وَمَنْ عَادَ فَأُولَيْكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ Whosoever persists in riba, the punishment for them is the fire of hell and they will remain therein forever. Forever. Is it only the one who is lending on interest? Or what about the fellow who borrow money on interest to build a house? What about he? The Prophet ﷺ spoke and he cursed. He cursed all four. He cursed them. And he said that they were all equally guilty. Who? The one who take riba. He lend him money on interest, so he put the money in a fixed deposit and he take the riba. Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam cursed him. Cursed him. Cursed him. He have a chance at all when he stand before Allah. The one who gives riba. He took a loan on interest and he paid the interest. Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam cursed him, cursed him, cursed him. Do you think people care? I could repeat it a dozen times. Do you think people care today? No. It doesn't matter. Does anyone teach the subject? Is anyone going around to the masajid, to the Muslim community and teaching the subject of riba? No. No, nobody wants to teach the subject. He cursed the one who takes riba. He cursed the one who gives riba. He cursed the one who records the transaction. And he cursed the two witnesses. And he said they're all equally guilty. The very last revelation to come down in the Quran, just before the death of the Prophet was on this subject, riba. Yes. And the Prophet warned us about riba. It doesn't matter, he says, whether the interest rate is high or whether it's low. 25% or 2%. He says the end will still be the same. People go end up in poverty and destitution. It's just a matter of time. When the rate high, they go reach poverty and destitution faster. If the rate is low, they go take more time. But eventually, they'll be in poverty and destitution. But when the people are deliberately targeted by riba, then what you're looking at is slavery. <laughs> 